That's what stopped you from getting that Lambo sense. Shut up. Because they are private people, that he didn't say. Child, she, he get the expose of her, she could get the expose of him. DK4L, let me tell you something. Y'all, let me tell you something before he said, you better not. You are not allowed. You can't. Y'all got to stay together. Okay? Child, they are the queen and king of unbothered. I, I don't even see it happening. Hell, it probably happened and we ain't know, okay? You are Chris Sal's fans. They know that he has a son called Sal! You love him so much, it's Sal! Chris Sales! It even says Sales. How, what other way can you spell Sales? <laughs> Girl, Nick G. Dones. I'm Tucha. I'm back with another reaction video. So we're gonna react to Messy Monday today. Hopefully it is juicy and not an hour long. Okay. So that's what we about to do. You heard? Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, share everything to this video. All right. Make sure y'all let me know the videos y'all want me to react to for the rest of the month. I'm going ham. You dig me? So y'all let me know what y'all want me to react to. And that's it. Let's get it. I'm ready if y'all ready. Y'all ready? I think you're ready. Let's get it. Girl, it is so much going on. But I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot going on. It's a whole lot, a lot going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot going on. It's a whole lot, a lot going on. It's Monday. And you know what that means? If you're here about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the back of the end, I'm a talk shit. I'm a sugar honey iced tea. Do you want to say no? Period. I said what's that? No move with long bitch before you get red. Still made time to run out. I'm trying to figure out if I like this light or not. I feel like it's too bright. You know, you gotta set the mood for these video, baby. There we go. All right. I like that. I get it. Hey, creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POV, and that is pretty on purpose. How are you doing? It is another week with some more. Y'all see how Zoe lights change the colors back there? That's what I'm trying to do. I gotta manually do it until I figure it out. Miss, I'm just like, okay, it's just a whole lot, a whole lot. All right, well, before we start off, you know we always have to give that special shout out. And today's Messy Monday shout out goes to Kenya. Hey, bitch. Kenya, I just want to say thank you so much for supporting me, for having my post notifications on. Today, you were the first person to comment on my Twitter, and I greatly appreciate that. I just want to show that I see you supporting me, and now it's my time to support you. So with that being said, hey, baby. All right. Well, child, y'all already know what the hell's going on. I don't even have to sit here and tell you what is going on. You've seen what is going on. We've heard what was going on. We've been news to what was going on. So, girl, we're going to get into the shit. And that is the sugar, honey, ice, tea. Because y'all girls love to stay in some shit. Girl, I'm trying to see what's going on. You know what I mean? Let me see what's going on. Let me see. Who is this? Is it back again? Oh, Jesus. Okay. He's so stupid. Right, for the sugar honey ice tea, we have Duche and Jordan. Now, last week, we were sitting here discussing <laughs> how they needed to break up, right? Well, they were going through it. She was supposed to be done. He was begging for a bag. I'm just like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Chad, he went to picnic and he got a bag. Right. Then that same day on Monday, he turns around and he tweets this. I've never been this hurt, bro. Oh, God, I don't even be on this fucking app. I'm done with life, Jordan. Don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm just like, oh, my God. I guess she saw the show. Yo, yo. He tweeted that. They now have two new videos together. I'm like, you know what? At this point, y'all just shut the hell up. Y'all hey. just stop putting this shit on the internet. Hey. Stop it. Y'all have a little need for it. Or hit your buddy. Well, I'm not to argue about it. Shut up. Which 
I learned my lesson. Oh Lord, I learned my lesson. If there's something, you better find somebody you can talk to who you can get along with, who can who can really, really understand you that you somehow trust. And tell that person everything. Alright? That's it. Oh yeah. Okay. Start rearranging shit. I'm just like, you know what? Get your mind off of the soap. But these two, yeah, girl. It's the energy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, I'm hot, sweating okay. already. We just got the first piece of bullshit. And I'm already over it. Whew, God. Okay, well, they back together doing a big ass pregnancy test. And honey, whoop the whoop. <laughs> anyway, if it ain't about me, please keep keep this case. Oh, the next. next one is Shagani Ice Tea. We have Chris versus Queen. So Queen has a new song coming out called Love Language. And for those who are Chris Dow's fans, they know that he has a song called Sale! You love him so much, it's Sale! Chris, Sale! It even says sales. How, what other way can you spell sales? Love language as well. So a fan decided to go up under the comments and leave a petty ass response that said, Y'all and Chris got something called love language? And then Queen responded back with, I got one too, but mine is better. Period. I, I know she like this is on Facebook, right? So child, I guess it gets back to Chris, which I already knew it was, honey. And Chris decided to go on his Instagram and say what? And if it was a competition, Chris's song is probably 100% better. I'm sorry, but that song can't be topped. He said. Oh, Chris said my song, Love Language. Right? Now, people didn't think it was really Queen. They was just like, oh, Queen wouldn't do that. She wouldn't do that. But girl, I told y'all, I'm going to be a pet sometimes. I mean, okay. I want to. Who gets it? Okay. So, uh, it's the new song. Y'all get some attention around it. Good. So, uh, then. That's she, what he do? She says, oh, my God, people following my face. <laughs> I highly doubt that was Queen. Dang, people be on my Facebook. Let me go to the I'm so dead. Girl, I'm so dead. Everybody think they be Money free on Facebook. It is what it is. I mean, that went fast as hell, so I don't know. Try to to say too much about it, so I don't know. They just. He ain't got nothing to say. He don't care. To be honest, get back together. And I know y'all like, don't all say that, but girl. Right there, going, child. They miss each other. Give me something like a boot free peanut. Okay. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, that's Kiki. That's Kay. Next question, honey, Ice Tea. We have Crystal versus Apology. I am really shocked by this one because I was just like, oh my God. They was a good couple. Like, we was rooting for them. Everybody was rooting for them. Well, honey, kind of my eyes was excited to go to her Twitter and she tweeted out this right here. I'm so tired of people coming to my Twitter. I'm so tired of people coming to me. Reporters she are asking me my relationship status. I am single. She said that loud and said, "Who knows how she was single?" Look, you hear me? I'm single. Then she went along saying, "Now please leave me alone." She said what she said. What she said is what she said. They just like you know what, whatever. But I'm just. Y'all like, uh, never tell you something before he said you better not. You are not allowed. You can't. Y'all got to stay together. Okay? Child, they are the queen and king of unbothered. I, I don't even see it happening. Hell, it probably happened and we ain't know. Okay? Y'all break up? I'm gonna come to you personally myself. <laughs> okay. What the hell is going on around this world? Y'all break up? It's a problem. Y'all gonna both have to fight me. Y'all gonna fight We gotta have faith in somebody. <laughs> if it ain't about He's me. He's so gay. What did he say? Stupid self. I see what the hell is going on around this world with all these people. Y'all break up? Y'all gonna both have to fight me. Y'all gotta see about me. Period. Period. I mean, I know. Never mind. Stupid. If it ain't about me, Crystal left Polo G. Next <laughs> Polo G. Next question, honey, Ice T. We have Brittany versus White and the Jewel. All that Hooper Holler, all that positive woman stuff. 
went out the window. Um, come to find out, this bitch was hosted by her, right? And she was in her kitchen, <laughs> chilling. Then all of a sudden, White Man Lucci posted his picture. Just woke up, I need an engineer in the room. It was the half of me. Look how I am. <laughs> it was the cabinets for me. <laughs> Listen. You know what's going on? I'm going to kiss the child. Period. Period. What's going on? We know. Child, she love that man. Let her be. Child, so I guess she done went back to him after all the stuff he said and all the stuff she right. said. You know, because when y'all do all that woofing and all that stuff, I know y'all going back to each other. When you really don't, somebody you ain't got too much to say. You got like three oh words. God. I am done. Oh, right. God. You nigga. You know, and, and Period. Couple you of words. You extra? Oh, girl, you made that, girl. You just put on the scene, girl. You crying wolf. I guess they back there, because you know, she, a couple of weeks ago, she said we cool friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, maybe they good right. friends. So, anyway, I was just like, shy to be your own cabinets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on you, girl. It's the evidence for me. I was like, if it ain't about me, let's get key. Next case. Well, that's all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First look, okay? We have Kanye West. Now, I know y'all remember Kanye had recently tweeted that he was going to be running for the President of the United States. Now, a lot of people were, you know, debating it, saying, no, he shouldn't be the President of the United States. Then you had some who were agreeing, saying that he should. Well, then after that, you had that racist have come out and say what she had to say. I'm just like, girl, shut up. You always got so much to say, but you never say that shit in person when you see people Period. talk your shit on TV. Now, okay? uh -uh. So anyway, I was also one of the people who was like, no, Kanye shouldn't do it. Woo, 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 woo. But now that I'm sitting back and I'm reflecting on my decision, I don't think it's so bad. Now, let hear me out when I say this. I was always Team Kanye in the beginning when he was pro-black and, you know, everything. I was like, oh my God, I love Kanye. He just speaks his mind. Then I grew to mind that I feel like he was a narcissist. Like, he was all about self. And then that's when that thing took place about, you know, him losing his mind. He had to go take a, a getaway. But what I believe happened was when all that stuff happened with the Taylor Swift, and everything else. This crap that's going on in Hollywood, I think they messed with Kanye. I'm, I'm just, this is just me, I guess, conspiracy theory thinking. I think they messed with him and he's now trying to get out of it, right? So that's when he was all buddy buddy with uh, Trump and all this other stuff, but I feel he was honestly trying to get out of whatever state that he is in or was in. And so then, um, Cause he is, you do see a change with him now. And I, I definitely think he's out of that state of mind that he was in, why he was in it, I'm not sure. However, I think that he would be a good candidate because you wanna know why? I mean, hell, the shit we dealing with now, first of all, Trump wasn't ever into politics and then he became the president and he's white. So, a rapper, black, Kanye, absolutely. I'm, I promise you, if they have a ballot for Kanye, I just might vote for him, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not sorry, you know what I'm saying? He has given back to our community. He actually got some people out of prison and he got uh, uh, Kim Kardashian beside him. And you know, a lot of people look at Kim Kardashian funny, but her father was a lawyer, a hell of a lawyer, okay? That got off OJ, however, Hell of a lawyer. She got it in her. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like they for us. Now, money-wise, woo! He's still a Republican. So, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't, you know, I don't know. I know it's like, oh my God, no more celebrities being president because look what Donald Trump did. Okay. But, if you look at it, we got Donald Trump, we got Biden, and then it's like, what the f***? You know? Okay. Why not just get Kanye? Y'all, 2020, we already in Final Destination. We already here. Right now, this is a game of chess. And you better learn how to play. Before you die, I'm trying to say, this is a game of chess, baby. This is not to be played with. But I do know Kanye means well. And sometimes all it is just to mean well, because he's not going to run the country. He just has to be able to speak to the citizens and talk to us while the house runs the country. Period. Then on top of that, 
They're trying to say now that he has a problem, that he is bipolar. But what I've learned now is Hollywood loves to say something is wrong with somebody when they want to make that person sound like they're crazy or when this person is trying to do something well. And when they're um, black. He wasn't bipolar when he was all for Trump and all this other stuff, but now that he wants to run president, it's all he's bipolar. So anyway, I, I mean, this is another conversation I really want to have on the Messy Monday. So then we move along to Chance Rapper. Chance Rapper comes out and says, all y'all are out here trying to convince me that a vote for Biden shake my head. Then he was just like, are you pro Biden or anti yay? And why? And then he's like, I guess you're probably just trying to get Trump out. But in this hypothetical scenario where you're replacing Trump, can someone explain why Joe Biden would be better? I don't know. I'm just saying, if you got all three who were just like, um. Biden is near Obama, which I absolutely support. But that doesn't mean Biden has the same morals. And like I said, y'all, we are in the middle of Final Destination. And to be honest, I don't know who the hell going to clean up Trump mess. It really don't be them running it. It be the, the people behind them. Let's go house controlling the president. So y'all, this shit is messy, deep. I don't know. Oh my God. I do say just stick behind your black African-American male and see if he can pull it through. You know what I'm saying? Why go with these other two guys who you already know Trump is a mess and you know that Biden is a secret mess. Yeah. Then just go for your black man. I, I, I don't know. Give him a shot. See. I do know that he knows what it's like to come from having nothing. And, um, I don't know. We'll just guess we'll see when the time comes. But anyway, it ain't about me. Let's keep keep. Next case. Next okay? We have T.I. versus Big Sin. So while T.I.'s beard is social distancing, T.I. Okay. has so much to say. Happy birthday, bitch. I offer you a challenge, sir. Pull your sub, man, with 20 of your records, man. Say, but I understand if you don't want to answer to that challenge, because last time you got challenged, can't you wear dust as your way? So, oh, me, me oh, I do believe T.I. can get 50 cent a rock on his money and so did other people. I think but he did more. my business. So, while T.I. had posted that he was waiting for 50 cent to reply, he was trolling him, touching him, and all that other stuff. So then he finally got 50 cent to respond. But see, me, let me tell you, I don't really give a damn if this person happens. Cause right now, 50 Cent is canceled. Until you can apologize to your black women, you ain't got shit to say. Nobody wanna play your damn music. Big overgrown Harambe built by the bitch. But they are not big. Harambe. He decided to respond back to T.I. That's when T.I. was right back around in the Swiss beats. He was like, hey, he took the bait, let's get it going. But then T.I. also responded back to him and said, I've never been in enforcement, I've never read it on anybody. So, you know, I don't know, they always do this shit when somebody want to talk about them in the rap community. It's like I always say, these rap men be gossiping to be more messy than women, and it just be yeah. so much. I'm not saying women are always messy because they're not. I feel men are messier than women anyway, but that's it, you know, they are. So, child, then I guess people started talking about T.I. putting him in categories of other people, but T.I. got upset. He was like, first of all, y'all better put some respect on my name. I'm supposed to be up there with the Jay Z's and the Kanye's. I don't think you people realize who I am, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't think y'all really know who I am, bro. I don't think y'all remember what I've done, bro. I don't think y'all know. So, honey, I don't know. We're going to see what happens, y'all. T.I. is a whole G out here. Period. I got a lot of respect for him as a black man, as a husband, as a. You know what I'm saying? A father, a, a, a businessman, you know what I'm saying? And as far as a rapper, like, you know, you have to be into down south music, I feel like. It's a different, it's a huge difference. 50 Cent and T.I., that's just totally different. You know what I'm saying? Most verses, like, they kind of the same, kind of got the same style. I just don't feel like T.I. and 50 got the same style. So I feel like this is the East Coast slash West Coast type thing that don't need to be happening, honestly. But uh, I don't know what we're going to see. Okay, y'all. Well, if it ain't about me, T.I. beat the fuck out of 50. Next okay. Next is okay. We have Jamia versus Bobby and Almighty. They broke up again. Here we go again. So Jania had to pick up Casey from NBA Young Boys House. Now while she was there, I guess it was said, you know, that I do Twitter shows that she was playing. She said she sweat out her hair, whatever the case may be. Right. Okay. Follow the camera. So after she's supposed to sweat out her hair, she comes home. She posts a picture, and in that picture, everybody noticed something on her neck. Mmm. Jania. First of all, no disrespect to Jania, Janiah, whatever. No disrespect to anybody. But NBA Youngboy has herpes. I wouldn't go in behind that. 
and YBN went behind that. So he gonna fuck with somebody else who gonna go behind and fuck with somebody. I just don't get it, but. The other thing everybody pointed out that it was a hickey, um, she then decided to say that she had a skin problem. Now, I never noticed this skin problem on her. I never noticed her breaking out. Maybe y'all have. I don't know. But I've seen her pictures. Maybe she did some. So she bad. photoshopped some. I don't know. He did that. But apparently, I guess this time it must have crossed her mind. I can photoshop it, but it's just kind of random that this skin irritation popped up on your neck after you came from NBA Young Boy's house. Playing with your child and your hair. Right. Stupid. So anyway, um, why me and nobody J had saw it and he called her a liar and he had put his finger up there. I was like, child, give up a minute. She was playing all the NBA young boys songs. <laughs> Y'all is missing. So child, she said, I'm wrong. Why I got to lie to you? They unfollow each other again. No. You know what? At this point, can <laughs> throw this couple away. Jania just... If you miss NBA, just say you miss. Okay, he is your buddy daddy. Girls are trying to go these other men just to get his attention. I don't know, honey. I don't know what's going on. They was just supposed to be in love. <laughs> he could go, but you gonna pick your child up? Why are you in? I was oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> and from what I heard, they supposedly said that why me and Almighty J was caught in the mall with the people who broke into NBA. Y'all put that. I know this nigga. Me. Me. Oh, I was about to say, are they beside each other? That's the legend, so don't take that. They were beside each other. That's what they said, so. <laughs> Ooh, child, this is just a whole lot of Y'all already know that man, NBA Young Boy, can get whoever he want back. That was his once before, so I know why, why the end I got caught up in that foolishness. Well, put a pull of ice. So I'm a little spoon, so I'm a little rash. She just had to take a picture that day. Well, about me. Y'all, young people either don't give a damn or you just don't understand. And uh, that common just ain't that for some of y'all. I, I don't know. Okay. Next <laughs> okay. We have Willie James versus August Costino versus Kiki Bond. This right here is just an entanglement. It's a debacle. I am confused. I'm just gonna violate it. I'm stressed out. Me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Because for me, that was the thing when I when um, when Og first came around. Really sick. He was really, you know? really sick. Yeah. No way. I had to say it like that. He was. Because he sick. was. What if he was that? Broken people, but if you were broken at the time, how is a broken person gonna fix a, another broken? She said that you. She made it very clear that you can't. You know, if if you are broken, fix yourself. Person, honey, she started. Peeing. It's a <laughs> hostile. <laughs> I started peeing. Peeing. Never mind. From our family goes uh, initially about his health. Yeah. And I mean, we found all those different resources, you know, to help pull him through. And look at Wheel. Wheel, and what's this? The family wanted to help pull him through first of all. It's just like he just saying, son of a bitch. Okay. That's what I'm getting right now. Like, this whole energy is just like, girl, it, it, it goes in and out. <laughs> you and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah, I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Why were you done, Will? What happened to make you want to be done? Was it somebody before August? <laughs> what made you want to be so done? Now, if they come out, that's just great. What made you want to be done But Jada? I that's really felt question. like we could be over. You yeah, know? no, and we were over. <laughs> Jada was like, no, wait a minute. <laughs> we were over. Okay. Like, he was trying to hold on. I feel like Will was trying to hold on and fix something that was already let go. And she, she hurt him. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement. <laughs> <laughs> giving permission. 
permission. You know, the only person that can give permission in in, in that particular uh, uh, yeah. circumstance is myself. Yeah. Period. Uh, that's what you and I decided we were going to take our space, and what happened? Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with, with August. August. That's what I said. Oh, no, you what? didn't. Beta. An entanglement. Yes. <laughs> Yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship. And that's what Will felt like. Will said, wait a minute, oh, what? An entanglement. Can we just be real about the situation? Right. Like, if you're reading him, he's just like, look. Tell the truth. Get this shit out in the open. It's out here now. You already lied and told everybody that it did happen. Now we got to come sit at this damn red table and tell everybody that it did happen. Can we just stop beating around the bush and say what the fuck going on? I feel Will wanted to say so much, but because they are private people, that he didn't say. Child, she he get the exposed of her, she could get the exposed of them. <laughs> what he wanted to say, I feel like there's a lot more that is being hidden, but like I said, it's nobody business. What goes on in their house is goes on in their house. So, but I think August was just, I think he needed to shed it off of him. So he could have peace with everything that happened. I think he fell in love with Jada. Sure. And at that moment for Jada, it was just she was trying to find love again, peace again, or finding that being wanted and needed again. So to her, it was just a fling. It was just a band-aid to cover up what she needed. And that's what happened. And August ended up taking it more than what it was. And honey, it wasn't. It wasn't. Period. I just wanted to feel good. It had been so long since I felt. Ooh. Girl, she wanted some new dick. I'm in here, y'all. Let's just put to tell her how it is. She wants some new dick, bro. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know why they went through whatever they went through. They went through something in that house. They went through. I don't know who she at first or what, but honey, that was not happy. Child, and I, but I feel Will was hurt when she said that. Maybe he thought he was doing everything he could do. But I told you, I feel like Jay is a strong woman and she gonna do what the hell she wanna do. But well, he here. know that, she said that. Mm. So anyway, that was going on. And then somebody had tweeted something out, a picture of Kiki Palmer and August Alcina. And then Kiki decided she wanted to reply. So then that's when Kiki said, yes girl, August was never my man. That's why you reached and trying to find something to this day. And that's when August responded. And let me read what he said, cause I don't wanna mess up anything. He said, you're absolutely right. I was never your man. You could possibly never shorten. It seems you're mad you got curved, but your friends are the reason for that. They showed me an endless thread of texts and pictures of me that you sent word about who I date and begged me to not disturb your mental instability. And I hope I said that right. It's, but anyway, it now, just sounds so bitter. Bashing August. It was so bitter. For what he said. Now, when you really got sick, that. Well, she didn't, and she didn't throw no shade at him. Read that right. I think at the time, this is just me trying to figure out everything. I'm not that right. I think this is when he probably was hanging around Jada, and this is when she was supposed to be his mentor. <laughs> the fact that he put that together, I'm so dead. <laughs> but I think Kiki and him had some type of something mm -hmm. going on. So then when her friends started showing August messages that they were having amongst themselves. Oh, because he said worrying about who I'm dating. Okay. I guess she was trying to show them, look, y'all, I think he might be dating Jada. This is just me doing a conspiracy thing. Look, he might be taking dead, this is that. I, and that's what hindered them from being together. Because if you look, he said, you could have possibly never, Shorty. It seems you mad you got curved. So it's like she wanted to be with him, but he was too focused on Jada. Then he goes and he says, your friends are the reason for that. Because your friends showed me texts of what y'all were talking about. Which is whack. focused on who I was dating. dating. Okay, yeah. I see so I when she tweeted out what she said, when she said, um, August was never my man. And that's probably how he read it. Like, August was never my man. And you fishing for something that, that um, you're not going to find. So he was like, okay, Kiki, you throwing your subliminal messages. Mm -hmm. But like I'm saying, he didn't get mad for a reason. It was something that had to be going on behind the scenes that made him get upset. I understand I that. So Kiki, I'm not, I, I love her, but I'm just trying to figure out what made him jump like that. So then numerous celebrities started coming out making jokes, cracking jokes. 
Then you got a lot of men trying to bash Jada for what she did, saying, right. oh my God, you did this to us, you did this man. to Will. But hold on, first of all, y'all can shut the hell up, because y'all men do this every day to women. Period. Period. So this ain't no trying to bash the women type now. Let Jada, uh, uh, let these women be, um, uh, um, queens of entanglement. Period. Then when a woman <laughs> does the same thing y'all do on a daily basis, it's all oh, women, women are wrong. See, this why you can't find love with a woman because they gonna do this. Nah, if that shit, was real, if shit, that was real, this is, this head is, head bitch, it's just y'all like what, what you do is done to you. So then August comes back out and he says, imagine not knowing how to mind the business that pay you. I catch all the subliminals, not just about today. You can call me whatever you like. Mess is constantly inserting itself in topics you have nothing to do with. Go play with your man, not me. If you have something to say, say it with your chest, kid. It's always very perplexing because our real deal be showing people genuine love. And that envy in your little heart away. Next. So, Andy, honey, what I mean is my dad is so he very much saying Kiki didn't have to say anything when that person tweeted what they tweeted. She could have just overlooked it. But why did Kiki well, decide to say something about that tweet? That's what why did the say what's going on? Also known, I guess, what y'all had going on behind the scenes because obviously she apparently or allegedly got curved and her friends had showed messages and he's saying that is why she got curved. So then Scrizzy decided to tweet out, August uploaded a 69 clip on any female who tries him right now and then that's when August came back and he said, nah, I'm literally not. I actually with Kiki, so to see her speaking subliminal shade around my name over the past week is deeply perplexed. I don't know, girl. This is a whole lot. lot. Whole lot. So then Kiki come back and Kiki decides she want to write a oh, whole book. story. She said, I never been mean, but I can't. I want to post screenshots, but I won't. I'm like, see? This is a lot. Something ain't being said. So then she said okay. she also doesn't want to kick somebody while they're already down. But what I liked in her what? thing was she said, it will be hurting y'all, and most of the time it has nothing to do with you. I can't fuck up my poem or worry about my ego, period. Because sometimes you can't, you just gotta let shit go. You, you do. You know, people be going through their own thing, but then when you I do want to say something about the slut of the situation, that you rip their ass apart. Mm -mm. I ain't arguing with nobody, baby. I ain't going no back and forth. I ain't got nothing bad to say about you. Listen, you be blessed. You want to come for you and it should be going for the other folks who really got them hurt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then she said, uh, but just know, despite what my humility may make you believe, I don't have to beg or be thirsty for a damn thing because my talent speaks louder than my looks. Let the cheek be turned, please. My character is too strong. And I agree. So, you mm -hmm. know, she's just like, you know what? I'm not even going to bring up what I could bring up mm -hmm. because I guess it'll just say too much of what's not being said. Mm -hmm. So, it is what it is, girl. I don't know. I guess I don't know. And what made me kiki, <laughs> you get it? Um, Sizzle had wrote what she said about walking into her boyfriend and he was having sex with one of her best friends. And then Kiki kind of grinned. She said, well, I walked into my man too. But he was messing with a man. I'm like, <laughs> you never know. Oh God! But anyway, I just wanted to tell Jada when she was just sitting there doing all that mess, talking about didn't nothing happen. I just want to say, Jada, why did you lie? Okay. <laughs> Air be fucking up your whole head. Yeah, that I will be showing. And I think they did it. I'm not mistaken. I heard her say like nine years or something. And she's also the mother of his child. So, let's get into the man. Ari decided to post up that she had got a Lambo from Moneybag for her birthday. No backseat or rope. Good God. Jump this moment. Jump across the floor. So, the mother of his child the video and this is what she had to say. Right, I feel some type of way about them Lambo, bitch, you want to be this whole nine months, yeah. I ain't scared to say I feel some type of way about yeah, I do. 
man. I'm, I'm, I'm a woman. I'm hermit. Now who gonna stop me from saying what the deal? Because y'all know what I'm saying. I was just with nine months ago. What? Damn it, now what? Should I keep going? Now, people. That's what stopped you from getting that Lambo sense. Shut up. Like, <clears throat> in relationships, because see, nowadays, women are bosses too, right? So you got some of them dudes that's in relationships with women with, you know, dudes need to shut the fuck, shut up. Play your part. Get what you want, right? You know, respectfully. Take care of Shawty. Make sure she good. Pick her down. Shit like that. She'll take care of you. Same thing with a guy. Take care, bro. Make sure you cook for him. Make sure you slob him when he need to slob him. Make sure you need to ride him when he need to ride him. You know what I'm saying? And maybe you will have Lambo trucks and Lambo businesses and all that stuff like that. But all this right here, that'll talk you right up out of one. <clears throat> no, man. Or calling her hurt. I don't think she's hurt. And she hurt. I don't think she's really mad at Ari. I think she. No, it ain't about Ari. Is towards him. See, people are thinking that she's jealous of what Ari got. I don't think she's jealous. She's hurt what Ari got. No. I don't think she's jealous. I think she's just regretting the fact that she didn't shut the fuck up. Oh, it's <laughs> like. When, before these men get famous, because mind you, she knew him nine months ago and dated him nine years from what I, I, what I thought that's what she said when she was talking. She, was, she talked so good, honey. If you date this man nine years ago, this man wasn't famous then. This man had nothing, probably. No. And you was that girl who was by his side, probably cheated on you and all this other stuff, and wow. you were there. You know what I'm saying? And you got nothing. Probably didn't even get a rose back in the day. Our little bubblegum ring. And what makes me so mad is all these guys who were standing behind him and these women who are dogging her is y'all are overlooking. She was there when he had nothing. Like, people get older. First of all, <clears throat> he doesn't owe her anything. Whether she was there at that time or not, he has grown. He has, you know, um, accomplished things that she wasn't shooting in the gym on. We don't know if she was in the gym shooting with him. Now, if she was in the gym shooting with him, that's different. But I didn't hear her say, nigga, I used to pay your car payment, nigga. I used to buy you Hondas and stuff. I don't hear her saying that. Is that? All I hear is a bunch of whole bitch, a bunch of child. I wouldn't want to talk to her either. I can't stand a woman that can't talk. Like, I really cannot stand that. So, uh-uh. Now she's the mother of his child, but then when y'all went That boy got this, plenty of too. You this man, but then when this man get a little bit of money and become famous, he forgets you was that woman who was there. Girl. But then you get a little bit of money and you forget about that woman because now you can pull that girl that you want in the looks. And you go, and y'all been together for nine months and she ain't even the mother of your child and you buying her a lamb. You don't know what she done for that man? She probably his whole life sanity. Every time he come to the crib, he just can't wait to get away from them hood niggas so he can get to his woman. She probably sucked that thing dry, baby. It takes a lot for you to get a Lambo out of nigga. Got to. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way he, he ain't just he ain't just say, let me just throw her this Lambo just because. Like, that's not how that happened. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling what she doing. She might wobbly wobbly and drop it like it's hot every day for that man. You get what I'm saying? Certain women can get whatever they want. I don't care what they look like, it was all the extra shit. Let me tell you something. Take care of me, baby. You don't even know. Nine months later, I might buy you a lamp too. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you gotta take care of me though. That woman probably taking good care of that man. Well, that's how she's feeling. Are you giving your football team, your eight children, I mean, Siren? Are you even taking care of them, supplying them? I'm what sure you he got is. her riding up in? Set it aside that you buy it for her, but it's for your it's not even for her, it's for your So if if he would got if he would have got her a damn Honda Jeep, you still would have had something to play. Your kids. <laughs> what your kids pulling up to school too? What they're going to the grocery store in. Granted, she should be doing it herself, but y'all laid down together to make those babies. So therefore, come to the agreement, hey, I want my kids riding this because I got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this for my kids. I ain't for you. That's it don't even sound like that's how she ask. It sound like she'd be like, hey, nigga, you need to get me and my kids in a motherfucking Lambo, nigga, now. Before I chitty, chitty, bang, bang you, nigga. You know, I already know. I know your homeboys, Mario. I know your homeboys, Mario. Like, that's what she sound like. Like, no, I don't, don't want to hear that. Yeah. 
<laughs> you can't get anything out of me. Oh, my deal. She's trying to say it's like you worried about somebody who's probably gonna leave you at the next for the next rapper when you got your kids over here in this. So I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know what's going on. That's just what I wanted to say about the situation. I'm just like everybody's bashing her and not looking at what she's mad about. Like, why is she mad? I, again, I don't think she's bitter. I think she's just upset because she spent so much try time trying to make you just act hypothetically speaking, allegedly, trying to make you a better man and are sticking out with you while you were on probably a that nigga bag say that I just <laughs> did they just give me 80k for 30 minutes and can't nobody tell me how to spend it bitch take it back to <laughs> take it to the hood and let them flip it he sent the 80k back to the trap <laughs> he will send 80k back to the trap before he give huh anything <laughs> Listen, y'all, I don't know. I don't know. If that woman was there for him and took care of him and shit like that, that's different. But you can't tell that man this man has money. If that girl got money, I'm like, how I am? That's the people problem. They won't mind their business. Cause she the man back then, or whatever the case may be. And then you leave and this happens. So. That's a debacle. I don't know, y'all. It is what it is, girl. Ooh, it what? Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this cash. Alright y'all, that's all I got for Messy Monday. Um, it really wasn't messy, but it was just a lot of mess going on. Like I always say, make sure you go to the It was messy enough, hell. But um, <clears throat> yeah, y'all. I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that money bag yo situation and um his baby mama. Hell, I probably should do a video on that. Um, but y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. And we're gonna talk about it here. But um yeah, y'all, for more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and share my videos, please. You dig? And, uh, hell, I need a slogan out. I need a slogan out. Help me. Help me become a real YouTuber, please. I'm trying to get y'all lights and stuff. We got the same light, too. Why is light keep changing colors, though? Ask him. Okay. Bye, y'all.